Well, welcome back to the game. This is Robert from Black Belt Gaming. I'm about to begin turn four of scenario one, passage through Mirkwood. The current threat level is now 35. The Lorian guide spoke up. That sound you hear, Ranger, those are hummer horns. Their sting is like a dagger in the back. Let us keep moving. We'll now begin turn four, and we begin with the resource phase, allowing each of our heroes to gain a token. We also draw one card from our player deck, and we finally have the wandering took the ally. I currently have four cards in my hand. These are the first two. And here are cards three and four. Now in the planning phase, I believe I shall pay two resource tokens and bring in the wandering took officially allowing him to participate not only in the story but directly into the action we're now moving into the third phase the questing phase as you can see we have seven progress tokens on our quest card we need one more to complete that first card so that we can move on to the second in the staging area, we currently have the Hummer Horns. They will drop down and engage us once our threat reaches 40. With no active location in the area and no enemies currently engaging us, during this questing phase, I'm going to follow my standard pattern and commit Eowyn, and just in case, I'm going to commit the Lorian Guide as well. It is now time to draw a card from our encounter deck and place it in the staging area. We've drawn a King Spider. The engagement cost of the King Spider is 20 that is less than our current threat of 35 so it will be engaging us and we have a win revealed effect it says each player must choose and exhaust one character he controls I need to exhaust one character and because of Dunhir's unexpected courage attachment. I believe I will have him exhaust at this time due to the spider's when revealed effect. Our questing heroes combined willpower totals five. We compare this to the threat strength of these two cards in the staging area that's going to total three so five being greater than three would normally allow us to place two progress tokens on our quest card since we only need one more that will complete this quest and we shall turn it over and go to the next card quest card 2a a fork in the road. As you move through Mirkwood, hounded by spiders, the forest path forks before you. Quest card 2B, a fork in the road, continues. Unsure of what lies ahead, but spurred by the urgency of your message, you choose a path and proceed. To remove this quest card and continue on to the next stage, we need to add two progress tokens 
to this quest card. The Lorian guide continued to lead the party down the old forest road, round the edge of the great forest web. Soon they came upon a fork in the road, and they stopped for a moment. A decision had to be made, go to the right or to the left. As they thought about which path to take, the buzzing sound of the large hummer horn insects grew louder and louder. Dunhir grabbed the torch again and said to the others, Go on, I'll catch up. He then retraced their steps back down the old forest road in search of the hummer horns. Just as the party had made the decision to take the left path at the fork in the road, a king spider silently emerged from the great forest web and struck with deadly precision. The king spider will be making its attack now. Defending this attack, I believe I'll have the wandering took defend this attack. We now give a shadow card to the king spider. But first, at this point, after dealing a shadow card during the combat phase, I can now take player actions. And I'm going to bring Dunhir back. Uh, I'm going to make him ready again and exhaust Unexpected Courage instead. Now on with the attack. The attack strength of the spider is 3. The defense of the wandering took is 1. So that's already two points of damage, which you can see here the Wandering Took has two hit points of damage. But let's see what the shadow effect, if any, will be. Looks like there is one. The attacking enemy gets plus one attack strength, plus three if it, this is uh, undefended. So, just extra damage there to the, uh, the Wandering Took. So he is now uh, out of play. I've got three ready heroes. I was planning, still in the combat phase here, to have Dunhir go back and attack the Hummerhorns, which are in the staging area. That's his special ability. However, if I sort of look to the future and see how the combat will play out, if the Northern Tracker and Eleanor combine their attack strength to three, that's not going to be enough damage, subtracting the one defense here, to kill this King Spider. And I certainly don't want the King Spider to have the chance to attack again. Because no matter who he attacks, uh, he's going to do at least one point of damage. So, I think I'm going to have Dunhir join in with this attack against the King Spider. Our heroes, Dunhir, the Northern Tracker, and Eleanor, combine their attack strengths to total five. The defense of the King Spider is one. That's going to be four points of damage. He only has three hit points, so he is removed from the game. As the young hobbit screamed out for assistance, the northern tracker once again used his bow to attack. Arrow after arrow began to pierce the king spider's body. Attempting to cut off its path for escape, Eleanor stood with her shield raised, 
between the king spider and the great forest web. Just then, at that moment, the spider paused. A heavy whooshing sound could be heard. All heads turned and saw the flashing of steel in the darkness. It was Dunhir's sword, and it buried itself all the way to the hilt, into the thick body of the king spider. The king spider collapsed, drawing its legs in to the pose of death. The young hobbit scrambled up to his feet. Dunhir strode into view. He then placed his boot on the body of the dead giant spider and ripped his sword from the corpse. Let's keep going, he muttered. The hummer horns are getting closer. Well, we've now entered the refresh phase. All heroes that were exhausted have been turned upright. And it's time to increase our threat by 1 to 36. We'll continue the story again soon. Thanks for watching.